Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University and I'm here again at SIGGRAPH with Mark from Vicon. And last time we looked at the unnamed crown, but there's something else new from Vicon here and it is an entirely new camera system, right? Yeah, yeah, so this is uh, Valkyrie, which is our new premium range camera. Yep. So what makes Valkyrie so special? Lots of stuff. <laughs> so the, the, the model we have here is actually a 26.2 megapixel camera. So compared to the V16s, which is a 16 megapixel, this is uh, uh, a lot more pixels. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you get a lot more fidelity. Um, what about frame rate? Is, is the frame rate the same as what we were getting in Vantage, or is this also something that's been enhanced? So this is also something that's been enhanced. The, the 26 megapixel has 150 frames per second. And now our uh, 16 megapixel version of this is at 300 frames per second. And also the, the, the VK8, which is the 8 megapixel, has 500 frames per second. So uh, we've stepped up all of the megapixels and uh, maintained and stepped up some of, the, some of the sampling frequencies for each of the different cameras. And physically, it's much larger than any Vicon camera that I've had before. Um, and I imagine some of that is, you know, to maintain the, you know, you've probably got a larger sensor, um, you got to maintain cooling, etc. In addition to the chassis being larger, the lens is bigger than anything I've seen on any Vicon camera I've had before. What's going on with the lens? Yeah, so this is a, a really key, unique selling point for us, right? This is a bespoke made, uh, very focal lens. So it's a single lens that will um, be for all of the different models of cameras. So we don't have to change different lenses for different models in order to get uh, wider or closer fields of view as we had to do with all the Vantage and the Vera's, right? So it's one lens for all of them, which is amazing. Yeah, so there must be economies of scale to that. So now you're you know, in, in quality control and such, that you now you've got a, a single lens assembly. Is that something that you've created yourselves at Vicon? Is that, I'm just curious. Yeah, it's been created by a, a third, part of, third partner for us, uh, mm -hmm. bespoke for us, so it's um, it belongs to us, which is great. And so I assume then this is like previous cameras that it's powered over the Ethernet connection. It does it use a standard Ethernet connector, or is it uh, back to the you know Limo connectors we used to use? What's going on there? Yep. So we, we've we've maintained the single Ethernet plug, right? So what's another little uh, uh, prop on this is that so the standard UE, uh, POE plus, right, which powers the current Vantage. Um, gives uh, the, the power to throw the strobes, right? But we've also included the ultra power of Ethernet, which is the UPoE, which gives you double the amount of power, right? So effectively, you're putting more power through your LEDs, right? Which, um, you know, you can do the math. The more power you put through, the brighter they are, the further you can see your markers. Wonderful. And then um, you're holding a cover next to that. What does this do? Yeah, so that's another, another great um, uh, USP for this is actually with the cover on, we now have an IP65 rated camera. So you can set the cameras up, up outside and leave them uh, in rain or shine, which is exciting. So it's not just set it up and if it happens to rain during your shoot, you're okay. This is like you could literally permanently install them outside, leave them out all year. Um, in, I imagine, I mean, is, is there, uh, in terms of hot and cold, where, where, what are the limits on that? Yeah, I mean, that, that's still, still uh, uh, to be determined, right? Okay. Any standard electronics can't get too hot or too cold, but um, you know, this with the the heat sink that's on here, mm -hmm. it can it can dissipate the heat a lot better. Uh, so it is more uh, robust and um, uh, than than the the current Vantage, yeah. And so then, with the additional power being able to go to the LEDs, that allows you to also, I imagine, to overcome sunlight uh, interference with the optical pipe here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, another another cool thing is is because we have the very focal lens, we actually have a, uh, a secondary strobe optic that we can put on, that um, or take off, dependent on if you want a, a wide or a narrow field of view um, for your uh, for your uh, setup. Okay, that's absolutely ridiculous. So, with with that piece off right now, is this now tuned for wide angle or telephoto? Uh, this is narrow, right? And then when you put the on, it will spread the light to the uh, the wider field of view, um, so you can see uh, the the markers in in the, in the corners. 
Gotcha. So if I'm in my studio, I'll probably be using it with the optic on so that I can get a wider field of view in terms of the, the light projection from the strobes. Um, but if I'm doing something outdoor, maybe I'm doing mocap equestrian or something like that, the cameras are further away from the subject, I can remove this optic and we get you know more of a, a, a narrow field yeah. that light's more concentrated thrown yeah. out in front of the camera. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 54 degrees without and 72 with it on, right? That's absolutely awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mark. I, um, I'll just hold that for you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so everybody, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's folks at Vicon that you can reach out to if you want to learn more about these cameras. Uh, but until next time, have fun.